you watch that short film yet? No? Why not? It's only like three minutes. What do you mean what it's called? Does your photography matter? What do you mean it's a silly title? I think it's a good title. You should go check it out. Also, what's the topic of this video? Oh yeah, top five vlog moments. Top five vlog moments. You should really go check out that video instead. I think it might be a little bit better than this one. Just joking. I always struggle with intros. You know, sometimes you make these videos and these short films and you hope people like it, but once it's out there, you have no control over it. So that's why I always keep saying, make it for yourself first, because once it's out there, it's out there. I'm glad it worked out. Let me tell you, voiceovers are very, very difficult. I'm not gonna tell you how many times I redid that voiceover, but. It was more than a couple. Newfound respect to people who do voiceover work because it is not easy. Do I need a haircut? Do I? Yeah. Are they, are they even open? So guys, in today's video, no voiceover, no drone footage, just some of my favorite moments in my past videos that have helped me shape my journey so far. Like it helped me make YouTube Rewind, helped me make Does Your Photography Matter? You don't really notice these moments right away. I didn't, but looking back at these moments, I knew that, uh, I realized that it really helped me want to make the next video and the next video and the next video and then eventually you get to a place where you can make something really cool. So why is this important? Well, you know, you can't always come away with something that you like every time you go out shooting or make a video. Sometimes you come away, come away with nothing, but that's why the process is so important. I just think there's so many reasons not to make something. You need to find the reason to make that thing. And one way to do it is just to pay attention to those moments along your journey. Uh, they could be moments consciously or subconsciously, but you know, something happened that made you want to make the next project. So just refer back to those moments that helped you want to make the next project. You can draw motivation from that to help you make that next thing because it's so easy not, not to do it, especially in lockdown when you can't leave your house. So uh, that's my little tip. Hopefully it made sense. If not, l let me know in the comments and I'll try to do better next time. You know, I started this channel because I wanted to share people's stories and create like motivation and inspiration and have some sort of impact. I had no idea how to do that. I didn't know if people wanted to be on camera. I didn't know if my videos would be any good. I just had no idea. So here are my top five vlog moments, seemingly from 2019, because that's just the way I did this video. Maybe I'll make another one with 2020 highlights, who knows? But uh, here's number five, let's go. Sunday morning here at Temple Bar. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to come back to Dublin is I wanted to try to re recreate one of these shots that uh, I first took on a DSLR. Uh, it's one of the first photos that really got me into photography and uh, one of the photos that... Um... As you can see, I'm pretty new to vlogging, so uh, yeah, what can I say? This is one of the first photos I took with the DSLR that I was really, really excited about. I just loved everything about this photo. I didn't mean to shoot it in black and white. I didn't mean for the street to be empty. I didn't mean for the Guinness truck to be in the frame, it just sort of happened. And then I was back in Dublin in 2018 and I decided to do a vlog to try to recreate that photo because I was still really pumped about it. And you know, even though the video you know isn't great, you can still see like I'm pretty new to vlogging. I'm really proud about the fact that I put the effort into trying to make the video in the first place and it uh, just helped me want to make more videos when I got home because then I started making videos with Get Out Shoot and then here we are. That was a good time to say that this video is sponsored by... No, I'm just joking. It's sponsored by me. I'd like to introduce the original founder of the group, Adam Coomer. Silent, silent applause. Silent applause. Guys, applause. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah, so super excited today. We've got all four of us back together, which is awesome. Um, but I wanted just to say why we started the group, really. We started the group to bring the common interest together, photography, but really it's more than that. I think we've got people now from all over the world yeah. joining our meetup groups in Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, even two of the two of the organizers, Argentina, mm -hmm. England, mm -hmm. Newfoundland, mm -hmm. Toronto. Yep. So it just goes to show like how culturally diverse the people, but more than that, it's about taking away the snobbery of photography, taking away doesn't matter if you use a phone, if you don't even have a camera, it's about getting out and meeting people and getting out and picking it up mm -hmm. and shooting. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if you don't even know what you're doing, just take photos, mm -hmm. have fun, and enjoy it. That's what yeah. it's all about. So, Absolutely. And it's um, our two-year anniversary coming it is, up. Next yeah, two-year anniversary. February 11th. 
Exactly. We started it was a two, two years year. ago. Paul. Yes, I, I was there. He was the. He was at the first. Day meetup. one -er. Yeah. So. Day one -er. I can't believe it. Two years or is crazy, but seventy one hundred people now and yeah. growing. Um, and with all four of us here doing yeah. it, I mean, couldn't do it without all the people here. So. Day one -er. For those of you who don't know, my friend Adam started to get out shoot uh, back in twenty seventeen. It's going to be our four year anniversary on Sunday. Uh, the first meetup with the group. So it's been four years and uh, what can I say if Adam didn't start the group then who knows what would have happened to me. He actually moved to Vancouver in 2018 so he basically handed the keys of the group to myself and a few other people and uh, he was visiting that day so I got him in a vlog and he explained why he started the group and I just think it really uh, encapsulates uh, the power of a meetup, the power of photography, and just the power of getting together and just sharing, sharing our dream together. Day one -er. Okay, this clip was with her Pruva, and we were supposed to do her piece the week before, but it was really bad weather, so we had to push it to Comic-Con. And this was in the, the, the lobby of the Metro Toronto Convention Center, and you can tell with all the noise happening in the background. But Approva was really one of the first interviews I did, in interviews I did, with regards to just getting on camera and talking um, outside of like the leaders of the group. I have Approva here. Hey. She's been gracious enough to give us a couple of minutes. Hey. And uh, do you have a favorite superhero? Oh yeah, I love Batman. I like Joker too. <laughs> Joker too? Yeah. Okay, cool. And this is your first time at a Comic-Con event? It is, yeah. I, I've been to one before, but this is like first time photographing. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, so where are you from? Um, I'm originally from India, then I moved to the US and I moved here from New York. Okay, cool. Yeah. How long have you been here for? Um, about a month now actually. Okay, yeah. right on. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Um, and yeah, and you were, you were telling me off camera that you just started to pick up ph photography like on your own. Yeah, so uh, I started while I was in New York, so I, uh, I used to take photos with my phone but I just didn't like how they would turn up. Okay. And then so I got myself a camera, I started learning. I'm still learning about my camera, how it reacts to light and stuff. And you know, she mentioned that she was new to the city and trying to figure out, you know, where everything was and how everything worked and trying to make friends. What is the biggest challenge in uh, moving to here in Toronto? Um, honestly, like just finding people to hang out with, um, finding people with similar interests, mm -hmm. just going out and exploring the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just finding company, I guess. Yeah, cool. And our group is pretty good for that and making friends, right? Oh, yeah, it was we... awesome. I came for the meetup as the first week I was here. Yeah, I remember. I such a great time for the architecture show. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good time, eh? Yeah, it was an absolute blast. Awesome. awesome, awesome. And, you know, the more people that I spoke with over the next series of videos, I found people were in a similar situation as Approva. And I just think that that was really a theme of, like, the videos, especially, like, over the first year. And uh, I'm really glad Approva did that because uh, it was one of the first people on the vlog and really kind of wanted me to share more stories. So uh, I'm really glad that she came on. You watched that short film yet? No? What's the matter with you? Hey, here we are in Pavilion Gardens, Brighton. My name's Damien, I'm a busker here. I'm here most days. And um, yeah, there's a lot of competition. There's lots of other buskers. So I try to squeeze in an hour slot, maybe two sometimes. Don't you just want to have a beer with him? This was Damien in Brighton, England. Um, this was like a real kind of cold call interview because I had no prior interaction with him. My friend Quiva told me to go up to him and ask him to get on camera. And uh, it's great fun. It's a, it's a lovely way to sort of, uh, you know, spend your afternoon in the sunshine with everybody. Brighton's great because there's a lot of people on holiday here, so everybody's keen to sort of smile and enjoy themselves and have some pleasure. And I think that feeds off on everybody and uh, it's, uh, it's a nice chill place. And it's lovely to play music for people and uh, to watch them smile and maybe dance occasionally. Is that the best part of being a busker here? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Then the compliments that you get for your music and the comments are great. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's really heartwarming stuff, really. Um, music's very important to people, um, so, so to perform for them whilst they're uh, chilled out in a lovely garden setting like this and uh, supporting the atmosphere and perhaps providing the soundtrack, I'm, I'm paraphrasing the comments I've received from other people, you know, that's great, that's a great thing to be doing. I mean, he was a really, really great person to speak with because I think he could have spoken for hours. He just seemed like a really genuine guy and it kind of kind of made me realise that people, even people that I have no contact with, are willing to get on camera to share what they want to talk about. Hopefully everything's good, Damien. Okay, so the final clip is uh, Claudia and Amit from Downtown Camera. I got Claudia. Hi. My man here. Hi. Just wanted to say big thanks 
for having our team here. You guys were, you guys were pizza and candies, and we have raffle prizes. Yeah. I apparently won the backpack. Yes, you did. But I took it. <laughs> But I didn't feel comfortable as a person who organized this event to actually take like the main prize. So it was a wink wink, great. Right? Yeah, it was a little like, it was a little so odd. Hard. It was a little odd. And then I found out Ben won it. I'm like, if I had known Ben would have won, I would have taken it. I'm like, it's Ben. I'm like, oh my god. So honorable. Right? So but anyway guys, thanks again. You're welcome. Happy holidays. Yeah. Do you guys have any big sales coming up for downtown that you want to pitch? Always we have sales yeah. and if you're a part of our AMFM membership group, yeah. we have an email group, so come on by, sign up. Okay. Okay. Uh, you get to see all of our fun slides that way. And yeah. we welcome anybody here all the time. If you have questions, just hang around with us because we have this big store and we hate it when it's empty, right? Absolutely. So we like yeah. hanging out. We like Absolutely. hanging out. And we definitely appreciate your support of the group, so thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks. Aren't they great? We did like an in-store event because they move locations. So we did like an in-store kind of like raffle prize, pizza party kind of thing. And uh, Claudia and me did. Claudia and me didn't really want to come on camera, but I eventually got them on, and I'm glad they did because uh, I mean their passion for photography is, is is amazing. And Downtown Camera was one of our first uh, partnerships uh, that we've had, and we just did like a Zoom call with them on Tuesday for like film photography because uh, they are the ex they are the experts when it comes to film photography. And uh, I'm just glad they came on because I think that moment helped me approach businesses in Oakville, especially the one I just did with John at Oakville Jewelry. So there's definitely a connection there. We have to reshoot this whole thing. Anyway, that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's uh, motivated you to pay attention to your to your own moments as you go on your own kind of journey because they're definitely, they definitely happen. You just need to be aware of them and hopefully it kind of um, inspires you to keep going, which I think sometimes is difficult, but you just gotta keep going because you, ne you never know where it's gonna lead. And uh, yeah, short and sweet. And uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe for more. Subscribe for more lockdown content. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Day oneer. This video is sponsored by Burger Man. Huh? Come on. What do you mean you weren't recording? I just took the shot, and obviously it's not the same as before. So it's just interesting to see how kind of things work out for a photo. I'm just gonna continue on strolling through Temple Bar. Uh, there's nobody around, which is great for photos. And maybe get some cool shots of the pubs.